welcome to this GIMP tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a uh, naturey woody text. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to open up a new image. So go File, New Image, and let's go 700 by 500 and click OK. Alright. And we're going to write with our text. I'm going to write um, wood, wooden. And uh, turn the size pretty down. I think that's good. And I'm using Rockwell Bold, by the way. And you can make this, it, this white gray color. Duplicate the layer on the bottom text layer. Change the color to a uh, darker gray, like that. And when you click the eye, that's the transparency. So it looks like that. Okay. Now on the darker color layer, you're going to go filters, blur, motion blur. And linear, length 21, angle 345. And click OK. And it'll start motion blurring. Won't take that long, I don't think. And uh, first we have to go layer to image size. And do that for both of the layers, layer to image size. And we're just going to duplicate this layer until it has a solid 3D text look about it. That's pretty good. We're going to uncheck the eye on the top and the bottom layer and click Controller Command M and click There you go. You can click the eye on both and it's back as just one layer. Alright, so now we're going to start painting in the text, but first we have to center it. So click the lock to lock these two layers together when you center it. So click and just click center. <coughs> I actually can't do that when it's locked, so I'm sorry. So click center. <coughs> For some reason. But first you have to go uh layer auto crop layer on both of these layer auto crop layer <coughs> and then click and center well not you don't need to center sorry about that undo that just need to center that and do that the same for this center it uh, for some reason it's not moving over so click on it All right, that's good. All right, <coughs> um, and we have to go back to layer to image size. All right, so now we're gonna start uh, putting in the um, woody texture. Okay, so uh, now what you're gonna do is use the clone tool and just start cloning in uh, this texture this wooden texture onto the letter I'll have to selection it <coughs> and uh, what you're gonna have to do is uh, use a fuzzy brush and I'm using a scale of 350 <coughs> and you just start painting it <coughs> right there And it's actually kind of big, so we're going to um, scale down this uh, layer with the scale tool, which is getting covered up right there. And uh, check the um, the kind of chain right there. And I'm going to put it 1,000. No, 1,600. And click scale. 
Okay, so now that it's scaled, we're going to do the same effect again. Go view fit image to window. And move this right here. <clears throat> and do the same effect. So go hold that and just start painting in. Control right there. Pick another spot, like right there, for the W. Pick like right there. <coughs> And uh, yeah, so just keep on doing this. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty good if we select none it sort of has this woody texture all right <clears throat> and uh we don't need okay so uh now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing except on a new layer for the bottom layer and you'll see why in a second and alpha to selection the bottom layer and we're actually going to use another stock so we can exit out of this don't need to save it Here's the fourth wood. Um, let's see. I think I'll just use this one. Okay. And we're going to use... Um, actually, we're going to have to rotate this. First, we have to scale it down. Click. And 1,000. 1,600. Click scale. Alright, so it's scaling, and it may take a while, because it's a very big image. Okay, there it is, and it sort of went cleanly. This is still here. <coughs> Alright, <coughs> and uh can just move this right here, and we have to rotate it, or actually use the perspective tool to get it into the position that we want. And actually view, I don't really want to see show layer boundaries. I think it's kind of distracting. So I think that's good. Lined up pretty good. Click transform. Alright, <clears throat> and now we're going to use our uh, per our um clone tool and click control right there and just again alpha to selection it and then paint on this layer. Just uh like that. <clears throat> 